Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good hello. Evening. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, guys? Yes? Good evening. Ah, very good. Yes, yes teacher, good evening. Hello, how are you? How Working do you like feel? Always. <laughs> Great. Uh, that's good. That's good. But it's almost Friday, right? So, how was your day, guys? Uh -huh. was easy. 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 Sounds good. Good for you. And you guys, how was your day? Today was a little busy. I I was um, a little sailors and two meetings and I work at the platform no mm -hmm. English corporativo but the other <laughs> <laughs> and I was happy to hear that <laughs> <laughs> is that just okay that. all right but you will work on the platform our platform won't you. Uh -huh. <laughs> today <laughs> uh -huh. i hope so i hope so okay let's see nelson uh, did you start to work on the platform already or not yet uh, yes uh -huh. that's the attitude very good so guys remember you have to work on it don't wait until the last day okay remember platform you had to work on it and it's just a practice in order that you review the topics that we studied here in the class now who else is there i can see holman hello holman how are you hi teacher good evening good evening how was your day nice the, the same the same <laughs> the same as every day nothing new nothing new <laughs> okay it's okay it's okay all right all right and you mirna how was your day hello teacher good teacher i'm a busy day but i'm but i'm good <laughs> <laughs> okay busy day because it's the routine same days <laughs> it's always busy yeah i totally yeah. understand you believe me i understand yeah. so but it's, it's tuesday <laughs> that's the bright Finally. side <laughs> i know i don't know why but i felt this week so long I don't yes. know why. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Believe me, when it, this is the class when I feel like more relaxed, I think. I don't know, but I feel very comfortable with you guys. So I'm happy to see you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. And thank you to the ones who had the camera on. And the other ones. Come on, guys. I want to see you. Keep the camera on. Now, there was a homework. Do you remember the homework? <laughs> and no, some, some of you are like... I don't remember what, what homework. <laughs> My <laughs> goodness. Oh, the platform. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember, yesterday we had an activity here in the class and only one group presented it. Okay, so the other teams need to present the uh, work that we did here in the class. So we are going to present it right now before the class starts, okay? Do you remember that activity? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Only Herman says yes, and the other ones? My goodness. Uh, certainly, certainly I remember that. <laughs> ah, thank you, very good, very good. I hope so. Okay, everyone, we are going to start. Let me share the presentation. Here we go. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. Yes, yes. we can. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so today is May 18th. This is always uh, the unit number one and the week number one. 
Okay, so guys, don't forget it. This is a friendly reminder to continue working on the platform. Some of you haven't even started, so please do it. Now, yesterday we were talking about distribution channels for a product. We already know that there are three distribution channels. What was the first one? Directional. Which one? Direct. Direct. Yes, this is the first one. What is the other one? The retails is yes, the retail channels. That is the one. And the last one? Wholesalers. Wholesales. Yes. Now, in this case, yesterday, you have to think about a product, okay? Imagine that you want to start your own business. So you had to choose a product and then you have to decide what will be the best distribution channel for that product. And you had to explain me the reason why, okay? So the team number one already presented. So let's see the team number two. In the team number two, let's see. I had Carlos, Christian, Fatima, Isabel, Holman, and Rosalina. Uh, I know that not everybody participated. So team number two, tell me, what was the product that you picked? Uh-huh. Anyone from the team number two? Uh huh. Fatima, Holman, Christian. Um, uh, talk about um a car sell cars. Okay. Uh, how do you say teacher importation? Which one? Importación de carros. Hmm. Let's see. Importación, we can say import, like cart import. Yes, import the car and af after sell. Ah, mm. okay. And the distribution we, we choose is the well, well wholesale channel yes all right all right because um old brand is different and a manufacturer different mm -hmm. and import to usa and the person to buy is a retailer when, uh, who after sell to the customer in this country. All right, that sounds good. Nice analysis. Thank you, Fatima, very good job. I like that. Okay. Let's see, in the number three, I need a representative, a representative from the thing number T, a three in depth groups. I have Herman, Ivan, Magdaleno, and Nelson. Aha, uh -huh, guys. Tell me what is your product? Only one, please. Ivan is here. Ah, okay. Ivan. Yes, Ivan. Ivan is a man. Okay, Ivan. Yes, he is. He's a man. Yeah. Sounds uh -huh. good. <laughs> okay, Ivan, what was the product? Okay, my product is um, stores. I store the, the clothing with a gentleman. Only for men. Only for men, right. Okay, hey, all right. And okay. the distribution channel? Uh, the distribution is a uh, retail, retail stores. Why? Mm, it's it's uh, 
it's simple. Uh, I buy clothes uh, a long price and sell and sells and then uh, uh, buen porcentaje de ganancia profit, percent profits, what do you say? I... Sorry, uh, ganancia is profit. Right. Mm -hmm. Profits. Profits. Uh-huh. So okay. you can say mm. the, the percentage of profits or the profits percentage. The profit percents. Mm -hmm. Percentage. Pers what is percentage? No Percent it's percent. Porcentaje? Ah, porcentaje. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, so retail channel. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Ivan, you see, you are the man. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> very good job. Very good job. Okay, I can see all of the groups picked a different distribution channel. Some of you picked the direct channel, some of you the retails, and some of you the wholesale channel. I like that. Very good job. Okay, that sounds great. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for presenting the information. Now we are going to continue and the topic that we are going to talk right now is compare distribution options, okay? Do you remember the comparatives, the way that we can compare? Yes or not? Actually, don't remember. Okay, and the rest of you guys? Do you remember how we can compare? Hmm. By the step of the uh, distribution method? No, I'm talking about just the adjectives, just the way that we can compare. So imagine uh -huh. if I'm talking about, if I talk about Samsung and Apples, can you compare both of them? That ah. When you... When we compare with adjectives, I remember exactly. something like that. Uh -huh, exactly. So you use, for example, ah, Samsung is better than iPhone or iPhone is more expensive than Samsung, for example. Do you remember that topic? Yes. Ah, very good. Of I course, hope teacher. So. Excellent, of course, I like the phrases of certainty. Because today we are going to talk about it, not exactly comparing using that structure, but that's a topic that you already know, but we are going to include another way to compare, okay? So this is the class objective for today. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. I want to be a volunteer. Thank you, go ahead. Class objective. By the end of the class, participant will be able to talk using different kind of possible comparison, equal, comparative, and superlative. Thank you. So that's the purpose. We have to be able to compare when we are talking about equality, both things are the same. Comparative when one thing is more or superior than the other one and the superlative when something is the top in one category that's the purpose now before starting i'm going to check attendance so everybody if you listen to your names say present um let's see give me a second adriana escalante present Adriana, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't seen you since I think the first day, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh my good. <laughs> okay, are you okay? Everything yes. fine? Yes, I'm okay. Thank All you. Right. Welcome back. All right. Um Carlos Abrego. Excellent. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Erika Yasmin. Eh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. 
Eh, Herman Alexander. Present teacher. Good. Héctor Francisco. Present. Very good. Isabel Hernández. Present, Miss. All right. Iván Guzmán. Present. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Good. Holman Girón. Present. All right. Lucy Natalie. Present teacher. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Present. Very good. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. All right. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Present. Very good. And Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina Alvarado? No? Okay. Very good. So let's start, guys. Let me share the presentation again. Now, we're going to start this class discussing these questions. Remember, the idea is try to remember the way that we can compare. So what do you think? Which one is harder, math or English? What do you think? It's the same. <laughs> you think? No, for me, English, <laughs> English for is more harder than math. <laughs> okay, English is harder than math. Harder than math. Ah, okay. And you guys, the rest of you, is the same or which one is harder? Teacher are same. They both of both of them are same, especially when math have uh, vowels. Oh, so so <laughs> have have letters. Mm -hmm. I Difficult. know, I know. I just think, why did they combine letters with number, right? That's complicated. They have no relation. <laughs> I know, I know. Is anyone here who loves math? I hate. <laughs> you hate it, okay. I hate it too. You hate it too? Okay. Yes. Anyone? Nobody? I agree with them. <laughs> Nobody loves math here. I don't love math, but I like math. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, no, not love, but I, I like. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. It's not your favorite, but you like it. Exactly. Ah, okay, okay. I was reading it. Some people say that you can be an English person or a math person, but you cannot be both. I mean, you, you can be good at English or good at math, but you cannot be good in both. What do you think about it? Do you agree? Actually, no, no. you can you can be better in, you can be the best in, in more of one things at the same time. It ah. depends of your de dedication in this in in some specific area of your life or of your learning. That's a good point. Very good. So you see, guys, you are getting better in English. Now you can try to be better in math. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that is exactly what I want. I want you to compare. Okay, so the next question says, does technology make the world better or worse? What do you think? Any idea? In my opinion, to share the technology uh, make the, make, uh, the makes. world better, makes the world better. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the technology helped that a lot uh, um, to improve in, in different areas that you want. You can look uh, or you can search information in, through the technology or the technology um, and can be a um, can be a, a improve your, your your knowledge. All right, that's a good point. Or also, it can be the opposite, right? 
Hmm. So I want to listen to your point of view. We are going to practice with our classmates. I want you to answer these questions. And as always, remember, try to give as many details as possible. Okay, you are in intermediate for it. If you say just like, no, English is harder. And that's it. That is not an enough answer. I want detail. I just want you guys, every time that you answer, I want you to try to imagine that you have a timer and that you need to talk at least for one minute. Okay, so try to give as many details as possible. So I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group, everyone. We are going to talk to our classmates. If you listen to your classmates saying something in Spanish, you know what to do. Let's go to the dictionary, or if you know how to say that word, help them, okay? So everybody, let's go to work. I want to everybody enter to the breaking rooms, okay? Please, let's go. Hello. Hi. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Fatima. Hello, Carlos. We have the first question, which is harder, math or English? Mm. For me, the the English, of course, is the most harder. It's harder for you? Yes. Very much. So it's easy for you, Ma? Don't. Um, it's not easy, but I, I like the math mm -hmm. and a financial financial analyst okay in my case it's harder math because i have i i think that i need to work harder to be good with math <laughs> okay i i, I can't be good but i need to work hard for do that in english i have i think that easy it's easier but sometimes english is a very tricky languages <laughs> because you feel that you are understand a lot of things and maybe you are so um i don't know you you feel comfortable and sure about the things that you know and then you are in a new topic that <laughs> you say oh my god <laughs> we are here again <laughs> so yes. but in my opinion it's easier languages than numbers <laughs> yes the math is exact, but yeah. English uh, ha, has much um, variants. I don't know. Yeah, but it's also because it's a language and it's something that people can change because we, we are learning something in here, grammar and something like that. But in United States, we can say, what I people say? <laughs> When people ask or people, uh, the pronunciation is different, even if you're in England or in the United States, so people can change it. <laughs> and math uh, is also in an accounting thing. You can have the same number in Japan and in the United States and in other countries. It's a universal yes. language. Uh -huh. yeah. it's, it's, it's a good thing you have reason. How about I you, Carlos? Carlos, are you there? I want you to participate, Carlos. I want to hear you. Are you there? Yes, this is. Okay, so what do you think of the question number one? Which is harder, math or English?
Which one is more difficult for you, math or English? Hello, Carlos. Okay, I cannot hear you, Carlos. So remember that the more that you participate, the more that you can improve. I don't want you to feel like I cannot do it. So no puedo, entonces mejor no participo. Al contrario, cuando sentimos que no podemos es cuando más hay que intentarlo. Ok, así que yo sé que a Fátima y a Andrea también les ha costado, pero ahí Adriana. están. Ay, ay, Adriana, I'm sorry, pero lo están intentando. Right? Y así es como vamos a ir aprendiendo. Así que no hay que tener miedo de participar aquí en la clase. Right? So, do it. Don't be afraid. Okay. So, inténtelo. Which one is harder? Or which one do you feel that is more difficult for you? English or math? It's harder. It's the math and... So, so English is in the thick and from from most what you say is the como por for the como poder hacer la 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 oración de ah because of the sentences ah okay because of the sentences is the thick. Difficult. It's difficult. Yeah, actually, difficult. that is very difficult. I know to create sentences is difficult. So you see, Carlos, ahí está, lo está intentando. Eso es lo que quiero. Okay, keep going. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Go ahead, girls and boy. Continue. Mm -hmm. Number two. Okay. Uh, no, rela no relationships. Yeah, with the mother. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, and the time the, the dinner uh, uh the, the mother and the internet, uh, mm -hmm. the father and and the cell phone, the child mm -hmm. um with the tablet or video games. Uh -huh. Ross, right. Uh -huh. the, that is a disadvantage, but in general we can say that it's better than than without internet or, or technology. You know? And the third yeah. one is, what's the most delicious food you have tried? The most delicious food. What's the most uh, try? What's many tried? Uh, like taste, I think. Like eat or eat similar to it. Right, right. I understand. Teacher. Try is like um what is the most delicious food that you ever eaten? Think about okay. all the type of food that you ate. So which one was the most delicious? No, no, no. For example, I don't understand. Pupusas. <laughs> All right. The, your favorite. Exactly. So think about the food most delicious for you. What is the most delicious food that you eat? Mm. But the word try, what is, what is translation? What is meaning? Oh, tried is like probar. ¿Cuál es la mejor, la, the, the ah, delicious food that you had ever tried? Que usted ha probado uh, o que usted ha uh, saboreado. Mm, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Okay. Mm, the favorite food, the most delicious. 
Um, many, many, many food. Yes. <laughs> It's difficult, just one. It is difficult answer. It's hard for me to answer the question. <laughs> um, Mm -hmm. for example, the what do you say, langosta? Langosta. Anyone? Nadie se acuerda? No? Lobster. Lobsters. Yeah. Lobster. Uh, Lobster. Yes, Lobster. The, fir the first time uh, uh, treat, uh, the first time treat uh, lobsters, it's uh, la ceiba. Located ceiba. Uh, ceiba. Uh, Is, is uh, Honduras is delicious lobsters. Mm, I, I didn't try. I didn't try lobster. Mm -hmm. But my favorite or my the the best or the most delicious food that I have. Try it, I think ah, it's difficult to me. <laughs> But no. A lot a lot a lot of food, huh? I love food. I love all food, but for example, pupusas, I love I love pupusas, but uh, of the rumba here in, in, in New York City. Is it that? Where, which fish is? El espino. El espino. El espino is, is in, in Usulután, I think so. Espino is Usulután. Yes, espino is Usulután. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, maybe El Cuco, it is San Miguel. I don't know. Cuco, I think, I think that is Son Sonate, Cuco. But in, in at Union, I know I don't know. Yes, I didn't remember. I okay, the but this is the 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 beach. <laughs> yes, it's the beach. The place that you have been. Uh, in my case, uh, in the beautiful place, the most beautiful place that I have been is Patepeca Lake, because I love Patepeca. What the Peque Lake? Yes, <laughs> in Santana. Um, oh. when the when the light is a uh, other color or normal color. Yes, because change the color the 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 water. You can you can see when the water change the color. Some in some specific days the during the 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 year. Okay, I prefer the forest. Sorry? I prefer the forest than the, forest. the beach. For example, oh. in the Pital. Oh, Pital, in Chalatenango. Mm. Yes. I like visit forest too. I prefer it. You prefer uh, uh, forest? Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I prefer I like forest. The, I like the, the, the environment. In the foreign is the is different, totally, totally different. Yes, you can you can rest uh, down sky, down stars, bajo las estrellas. Ah yes. Okay. Ah, you go with with a camp or or camping in the in the in the mountain. Yes, you ah you you ah. I love. Okay. No, you love. Okay. Okay. okay, I remember. I remember. Maybe fifteen years ago, I have been to at the at the top at the top of the uh, Chinchotepec volcano. Volcano. Yes, uh, I. And which city is Chinchotepec volcano? I don't remember. It is in Zacatecoluca City. 
Ah, in, in, in the other side of San Vicente, too. Uh -huh. yes, you been, have you been uh, in, in uh, uh, it's a it's a, a forest, but naranjos. Sonsonate. Think about uh, that explain that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he laughing. Uh, it's true. Uh, <laughs> Don't well, worry, Holman. My, on, my, on my birthday is a, is a good example because oh, think, it's nice. It's okay because it's it's a it's a special day for me. So yeah, I think uh, for all your family I mean, <laughs> to to eat ribs, barbecue ribs because I love. It, my birthday is a is a good it's the best of, option for me mm -hmm. but it's not it's not for me uh it's it's inexpensive it's it's a it's a, it's okay for me mm -hmm. it's a good a good a good, good. option, it, option. It, it's expensive for me mm -hmm. yes <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> in my case, it's seafood, especially uh, shrimp seafood. cocktails, um, shrimp cocktail. Uh -huh. I really love that. Shrimps, shrimps, shrimps. It's okay. Okay, I really love that. I like it, especially when you are in Cadejo. Cadejo is a good <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, ah, ah, I eat beer. <laughs> have a view. Oh, yes. It's beer. So uh -huh. beautiful. Uh, actually, I am alcoholic. I have uh, I have 10 years without alcohol and I I I, <clears throat> I don't have to drink because I I take an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And then I, I, I have you, not you, you, you cannot stop. This is the most delicious food you have tried. <laughs> For me, the most delicious um, is simple. Hamburger. <laughs> For me, delicious. <laughs> I try, I try <clears throat> uh, seafood, but I not, don't like the seafood. Only fish. The fish is, mm -hmm. is, is good, yeah, but, yeah. but the <laughs> octopus or now I, I, I hate, I hate. Oh, no, I don't know how to say concha. Shell. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shell. Yeah. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. For me, the, the hamburger is, is the, the better because it's the cheaper, is fast. And 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 for the health, it's bad. <laughs> but I, I like and delicious, delicious, delicious. Yeah, uh, cangre burger ah. is the, is the cangre better. Burger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me, the the most delicious is the um parmesan chicken. I I I prove uh, parmesan chicken is wow is. Delicious. It's pasta. It's pasta. No. No, chicken. Chicken parme, poi parmesano. It's like a cheese. I don't know. Parmesan. It's a um so chicken is, is um yeah, all, yeah. all chicken. But it's the mm -hmm. parmesano is uh, ingredient. Uh, I don't know the the prepare. But I think it's, it's cheese, parmesan cheese. Yeah. Parmesan cheese. There are there are parmesan cheese, and because the the chicken is a with a a sauce, parmesan or I don't know. I I think the Italian food. I think I don't know the um, they. But it's, I never try. Do I? 
I didn't. I for me is wow, wow, delicious. Delicious. For uh, I, but mm -hmm. is delicious food for me most most is the bean. <laughs> All time bean bean. <laughs> <laughs> the the bean so being <laughs> you see you you can have a, a you can have meat you can have a, every a, a, what else all right time's up let's go back to the main room let's wait for everyone Time's up, time's up. All right, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. All right, let's see, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Let's wait for your classmates. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking room. All right, welcome back. How was the practice? <laughs> Gossip time, huh? My goodness. I, when I enter to some groups, I don't understand what is the question you are discussing because the conversation topic is totally different. And I am like trying to figure out what topic you are talking about. Okay, but good because you are talking in English. That's something that I liked. Could you answer all the questions? Sorry, teacher. Uh, hi, Isabel. We need more time. <laughs> Only three mm -hmm. questions. Yes, three questions. <laughs> ah, that means the, that you were giving a lot of details. The first yes, question with the gossip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They win. They a lot of. They, they win the, the gossip. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that's why they didn't advance in the questions because they were gossiping. Ah. Very good is the question. <laughs> very very what? Juice. Ah. Like like a milk. Uh huh. Like, uh, uh, uh -huh. Half, half. Half, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's very very juice. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. We 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 talk about the past time. It's good to say ancient. And ancient. Ancient. I don't know. Ancient. Uh huh. We talk about the. Oh, uh, a lot of time uh, before, before ago. Well, if, if you are using, remember that ancient is an adjective. If you use it as an adjective, of course you can do it. For example, imagine I can say, I have a car. I, this car is ancient. <laughs> I'm just saying that the car is very, very old. Okay. If, if we talk about the Egypt, Egyptian or Roman culture, it's not good you use the ancient. But okay. for te technology, we, we talk about the technology and have a di dis discussion. The, the, mm -hmm. and, and I think you use the, the word, but it's adjective ancient, ancient. Yes, you can do it. You can say, for example, Egyptian culture is... Asian. So oh. that means that it's so very old. So no problem. You can use it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. I know some of you couldn't answer all the questions. So nice job because you are giving details. Did you listen to any words in Spanish? No. Are you sure? <laughs> No. I am possible. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay. 
Um, honestly, guys, I, I feel very happy. Now I can see you a little bit more confident when you are talking. I know that always we, well, some of us can feel a little bit nervous. Some of us like, I don't want to talk. No, guys, don't feel like that. I have people here very talkative. Okay, and I know that there are people here like very fluent when they talk, but don't be afraid, participate. I want to everybody talk, okay? That's the idea when we go to the breaking rooms. In the breaking rooms, es como un poquito más privadito, right? Es como un poquito más en confianza. So that's the moment to talk, okay? Now, some details that you have to consider when we were practicing. Look at this. If I say it's the most harder, what do you think? Is that sentence correct? No. Why not? Must is um, it isn't. It's the hard. Ah, okay. Look, I have must. Must is for superlatives. Then I have harder, that is comparative can i combine no no we can't no really right we cannot use must with harder in this case <clears throat> if i want to use the superlative how can i say it hardest exactly look i will say it's the hardest Okay, be careful. Now, I like visit. Can I say that? No. Never. What is the correct one? I like yeah. to visit. Very good. So be careful, be careful. Burger is the better. Best. Ah, better. so. Be careful with these ones, guys. Remember that if you say better, it's because you are comparing with uh, something else. But in this case, you don't need the article da. So you can say burger is better than pizza. Or if you are just talking like superlatives, you can say, okay, burger is the best. Okay, but the better, mm -mm, that's not possible. Sure. Is it clear? Yes. I have a doubt with that. Go ahead. When you are when you are talking about the the third statement, you say burger is better than pizza. Mm -hmm. Would I could I answer you? Um, yes, it's better. Yes, you can do it. Okay, yes, because you are just basically uh, agreeing with me. So yeah, it's, a, it's better. Now, if you say, yeah, is the better? No, in that case, it's not possible. The article the, it's when we are using superlative, okay? So okay. the better, no, eso no se puede. The better, never, or better, or the best. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, talking about comparatives, be careful, guys. And this is what we have to check. I don't want to spend a lot of time in this because I assume that this is a topic that you must know. So we can compare and we can use superlative. How are we going to do it? Easy. First, you have to identify what type of adjective you have, okay? We have long adjectives and we have short adjectives. For example, in this case, we have adjectives with only one syllable. What does it mean? They are very short. If the adjective is short, can I say more clear, for example? Can I say that? More clear? 
No, you can't. Aha, uh -huh. what is the correct one? Bitter. Exactly. If you have an adjective that is short, only one syllable, and you want to compare, you just need to add ER to the adjective. Clear, clearer. Dark, darker. So if I say happy, happier. If I say sad, sadder. Hot, hotter. Can you think in another example of short adjective? Uh huh. Short adjectives, guys. Smart. Smart. What is the comparative of smart? Smarter. Smarter. How about cheap? Can I say more cheap or cheaper? Cheaper. Cheaper, cheaper. exactly. If I say tall, more tall or taller? Taller. 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 So you see, we need to use ER. And this is a very common mistake because I listen to many people saying more easy, more short, more tall, more, well, more cheap, more old. So we are using more for all the adjectives and it is not like that. So remember, ER is when you are comparing, you have two things, you are talking about two things and you are comparing them. For example, math versus English. So you have to compare them. Now, the superlative is different. In the superlative, you are not comparing. You are just saying one thing that is the top in one category. So for example, you can say, ah, my house is the clearest in the town. Okay, or you can say, ah, my room is the darkest in the house. You are not comparing with another room. You are just saying the top. And when we use superlative, look, we need to add the article the. So the article the is only for the superlative. Is it clear? Yes? Yes, sure. Are you sure, everybody? Like a use for chat. <laughs> My goodness. Like our, our, our chat adjust. Okay. Well, something is something, right? Now, this is when we have one syllable. What happens if I have long adjectives? Long adjectives are the ones with three or more syllables. For example, creative. If I want to use creative, can I say creativer? Yes or no? No, it's more creative. That's the one. Here we are using more. More expensive, more beautiful. Okay, look, more popular. So if it is long, we use more. If you want to say it in the superlative form, we add most. Most creative, the most popular, the most expensive. So the most important thing here, guys, is to identify the short adjectives and the long adjectives. Is it clear? Yes? Yep. Any question so far? Yes. And, and the word, and, and the heavy, heavy, like ah. a, more heavy, because you have uh, two syllables, I think. He, heavy. heavy. All yeah. right. Very good point. In English, we count the syllables 
by the vowel sounds. For example, vowel, vowel sounds. That means sonidos de vocal. Uh -huh. In Spanish, it's different. If I say hey. eh, carro, mm -hmm. we separate the syllables by the vowels that we got there. In English, it's not about the vowels. No se trata de las letras. In English, it's about the sound. For example, if I say, let's see, water. ¿Cuántos sonidos de vocal escuchan en esa palabra? Water. Two. Two. Entonces, mm -hmm. water no es una palabra de una sílaba. Es una palabra de two, two. syllables. Two. Now. What happens with heavy? heavy. In this case, vowel mm -hmm. sounds, it's only hey. Wow. Because yeah. you know that the letter Y is not a vowel, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. heavy is considered short adjective. So we are going to say more heavy or heavier. What do you think? Yeah. Heavier. 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 This is the same with the word happy. What happens here? The same. Happy. We are going to say more happy or happier. E. More happy. E. More happy. Are you sure? Happier. Look. Happy. Happier. Oh, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Happier. Yeah. Uh, happier. happier. Ah. Yeah. So, lo que tienen que tener en cuenta es cuando solo tienen un sonido de vocal pero termina en Y, uh -huh. no uh -huh. cuenta. ¿Ok? okay Por eso, okay. y ese es un ejemplo muy común. Easy. easy, easy. Easier or more easy? Easier. 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 That is the one. Um, let's see. Herman, do you have a question? Yes. A little bit confused with the difference more and most. All right, no problem. I will explain. More is when you are comparing. For example, para comparar tengo que tener dos cosas. So, for example, let's see San Salvador. And we are going to compare San Salvador. And we are going to compare with San Miguel. All right, we have two things. More, lo vamos a usar acá porque estamos comparando las dos cosas. And I can say, eh, San Salvador is more popular than San Miguel. Okay, look, more. Uso more cuando estoy comparando dos cosas. Most. Por otro lado, significa superlative. En el superlative yo no estoy comparando dos cosas. Solo estoy hablando de una cosa. And I will say, ah, San Miguel is the most... Eh, ¿Qué podemos decir de San Miguel? Hot. Hot. No, I need a It's short one. Hot. <laughs> Warm and please. A short one. A sh uh, I mean, a long adjective, not a short one. Funny. Is the most... Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. beautiful department. So, vean la diferencia. Voy a usar more cuando yo estoy hablando de dos cosas. Two things y las estoy comparing. En cambio, el most, por otro lado... ¿De cuántos estoy hablando aquí? ¿De cuántos departamentos estoy hablando? Only one. Only one. I'm just talking about San Miguel. No lo estoy comparando. I'm just using San Miguel. That's the difference between more and most. ¿Se entiende esa parte? Yes? Yes. Excellent. So, just remember. Identify the short adjectives and the long adjectives. Now, what happens with good? Good is short adjective or long adjective? In this case, good is a regular. Very good. With this rule. 
Exactly. And that's the point. We also have the irregular adjectives. The irregular adjective means that they change their form. For example, good. Si yo quiero compararlo, no voy a decir, ah, pizza is gooder than hamburgers. No, I cannot say that. How can I say that? I will say pizza is better. better. Okay. Si quiero usar un superlative, no puedo decir, ah, Real Madrid is the goodest. No. ¿Cómo lo voy a decir? Is the, the best. The, the world. best. World. Ah. The world. Most best. <laughs> the world is a superlative in high. Take in count, teacher. Yeah, Look I know. Who is? I'm, who I, is. I'm, I'm writing the name, so the ones that says the Let's worst. Point. <laughs> yeah. Let's Manga. can define how, how good is Real Madrid. Ah, very good, very good. <laughs> So, I really love Real Madrid. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, okay. I will talk about Barcelona, pues, para que no se enojen. So, Barcelona okay. is... Is worse. Better. Better. <laughs> si ustedes quieren, quieren comparar, ¿cuál voy a usar? Worse or worst? Worse. 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 So, I can say Barcelona is worse than... Then Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Or Barcelona is the worst team in the, in the world. The best. Ah. The best things. <laughs> Now, question, <laughs> question. Si uso los irregular adjectives, ¿necesito usar la palabra more and most? Yes or no? No. no. Never, mm -hmm. right? Never. In this case, we are just going to use these Words is not necessary to use more, is not necessary to use must. It's Clear? Sure. Yes? And the irregular adjective for the high, high list is necessary user the adverb D, best. The yes. word was only best. No. Every time that you are using the superlative, we always need the article da. It doesn't matter if it is irregular adjectives. Okay. Always use the article da. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So everybody, so let's practice. I have these two guys. Do you know them? Do you know the actors? Yes, Captain America. Robert yeah, Downey Jr. or Iron Man. <laughs> okay, can you compare them? You can use short adjectives or long adjectives. Let's compare both of them. Go ahead. Captain America is more. Okay, than... hold on, hold on, because I'm listening to at the same time. First Sorry. Mirna and then Hector. Go ahead, Mirna. Oh, <laughs> Captain America is more handsome. Dan, um, the other side, I don't remember the name. <laughs> okay, Captain America is, pay attention, she is using a long adjective, more handsome, handsome than, than, than Iron Man. Iron Man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. Hector, how about you? No, for me, it's, it's, it's simple. <laughs> it's, it's a short. Yeah, uh, uh, Donnie Jr. is older than, I don't know the name, uh, Captain America. Chris Evans, right? Evans, uh huh. We're going to use the, the character names. Iron Man mm -hmm. is. Nickname. Uh huh. Is older than Captain America. Mm -hmm. So look at these guys. He's using short adjective. Do I need the word more in this sentence? No. 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 Because the adjective is short. Older. Do mm -hmm. I need the article da? No. I no. don't think so. Why not? Because it's, it's comparative, comparative, not superlative. Very good. It's comparative, not superlative. 
Okay. What else? Another sentence, please. Compare them. Who is Iron Man? Yeah. Iron Man is this one, the one with glasses. Captain America is the other one. Okay. Uh, Captain America is Thor than Iron Man. Okay, can you repeat? Captain America is? Is taller. Ah, very good. Uh huh. Then Dan Iron Man. Very Dan good. Iron Man. Excellent. Again, if you see, he's using a very short adjective. I don't need the word more. I don't need the article the. Okay, Hector, go ahead. Yes, teacher. It's a question for, for this. I, uh, uh, Iron Man use glass. Where? And where for glass? Me, where? Where, uh, where, where? Where glass? And for me, it's blind. If I want, if I uh, use blind, like adjective, comparative, comparative in this case, is more blind. Mm, let's Capital analyze. Is, if I no, say no, no, no. It's, 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 blind, is your ah that is the one you got the answer. So what would be the sentence, Hector? Uh, Iron Man is blinder than Captain America. That's it. You got it. Very good job. I use so, I use the glass. I wear glass. I'm blinder too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you feel identify with him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so everybody, this is the way that we can compare. Is it clear? Yes? Yeah. Any question about it? No. Are you sure? Yes. And the rest of you guys, any questions so far? Or clear as or chata? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> clear as or chata, okay. Now, listen, I didn't want to expend a lot of time in that topic, but let's have another practice. I'm going to show you some pictures and you have to decide what is the correct answer, all right? Let me open up the pictures. Here, we are going to combine superlatives and comparatives, short adjectives, long adjectives, okay? For example, well, let's start. Can you see the first picture? So, yes, what do you think? Did. My car is, the adjective that I want to use is dirty. dirty, dirty. So, <laughs> can this I... This is the letter B. Letter, letter B. B. Dear, dear, dear. Dear, letter B. Dear, dear, dear. Dear, dear. And why dear. not dirtiest? Why not dirtiest? Because it's comparing. It's comparing. Uh -huh. Look, I'm comparing. This is for superlative. superlative. Great job. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. Okay, how about this one? Your uh, dog I... is? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sure, sure. The What is the, what is the fixture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks weird. So. The ugliest, the uglier, uglier, which one? A. Letter A, Letter ugliest. A. So why? Why ugliest and not uglier? It's not comparative. Uh -huh. It's a superlative. Great job. Perfect. If you see, I don't have anything else here. I'm not comparing. So this is superlative. And if you see, I have the article the. Now I will be asking individually, only the person that I ask, only that person answer. Let's start with Christian. Read the sentence, please. Yes. Susan is prettier than Mary. A or C? C. Great job, that's the one. Christian, pick someone. Mm, okay, let me check. Mm, uh, Fatima, the name. Okay, hello, Fatima. Next sentence, please. Patricia is funnier than Mike. 
B or C? B. Great job. That's the one. Okay, Herman, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, letter Y always change. Uh, uh, oh, yes. E. In this case, guys, very good observation. Thank you, Herman. If you see all the adjectives that are ending in the letter Y, listen, the short adjectives, okay? If you have a short adjective that is ending in the letter Y, we cannot say like funnier like this. No, we can't. We have to change it. We remove the letter Y and we add a letter I and then the ER and we say funnier. So imagine in the case of happy, what will be the best option? Number one, I'm sorry, like this or like this? Number one or two? Number two. two. Happier. Happier. Yes. Look, this one. We change the letter Y and then add I E R. Understood? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Now let's continue with the next one. Fatima, pick someone, please. Isabel. Thank you. Isabel, go ahead. Read the sentence. My mom is friendlier than my dad. B Better or C. C? C? That's the one. Very good. Very good. Pick someone. Hector. Thank you, Hector. Go ahead. Stevie is the uh, letter A, most intelligent kind in the class. Hey, kid. Kid in the class. Very good. That is the one. Excellent. Pick someone. Abram. Carlos. Okay. Carlos, read the sentence, please. Chocolate E K is more delicious than vanilla making. Ba vanilla cake. Okay. Okay, more delicious. Yes, very good, Carlos. Carlos, pick someone, please. Uh, Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. My teacher is happier than me. Let us see. Okay. That is the one. Excellent. Pick someone, please. Uh, Magdaleno. Magdaleno, go ahead. That house is bigger than my house. So, bigger? Yes, it's bigger. That's the one. Excellent. Pick someone. Hello, Magdaleno. Pick someone, please. Adriana. Okay. Please. Thank you, Adriana. Go ahead. Well, this is the most amazing field we've ever watched. That's the one. Excellent. Pick someone, please. Um, okay, Rosalina. Thank you, Rosalina. Go ahead. Okay, Beyonce is the great, great singer in the world. Great, greater, or greatest? Greatest. Greatest? Yeah. Yes, very good job. Pick someone, please. Uh, Holman. Thank you, Holman. Uh, uh, Alice is the most beautiful girl I'll ever seen. Great job. That's the one. Pick someone, Holman. Uh, Jamie. 
Jamie, go ahead. My cousin Nick is taller than me. The taller or taller? Taller. Great job. Yes, very good. Excellent. Pick someone, please. Hector. Um, Hector already participated. You can pick, let's see, Ivan, you can pick uh, Mirna. Lucy. Lucy. Okay, Lucy, are you there? Hello, Lucy? Okay, I think she's not there. Volunteer, please. Teacher, why is the, the article D um, after the blank? What is what? The article D, the. Uh -huh. the why is after the blank? Oh, Everest is, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's supposed to be here at the beginning. Yeah, that's a mistake of the game, sorry. So what okay, would be the is most most high? No, the highest. Ah, very good. So in this case, this one must be at the beginning. So like here, and we have to say Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Very good. And the last one, everybody, what will be the correct answer here? I am. I am volunteer. The shortest. shortest. Shortest person in my family. Very good job. So everybody, this is the way that we compare. Okay? Clear? Yes? yes Very good. Okay. When we are using this type of comparing uh, adjectives, we are just saying that one thing is better than the other one or superior than the other one. But what happens if I want to say that something is the same? For example, look at this picture. <laughs> are they the same or are they different? What do you think? Are different. Ah, look. They are all twins. <laughs> yes, they are twins. The girls are twins. The boys are twins. And the babies, they are not twins, but they look like that. So what happens if I want to say that they are the same? Imagine, I cannot say something like, ah, she is older than her sister. No, because they are the same. I cannot say, ah, he is taller than his brother. No, because they are the same. So what happens if I want to compare of equality? And this is the topic that I want to focus in this uh, class. If I want to compare of equally, how are we going to do it? Let's see some examples in this dialogue. I will need volunteers for reading, please. Who wants to read? Who do you want to be? Yes, please. I need someone else. Who else wants to read? Me, Adriana. Me. Thank you, Adriana. Okay, Magdaleno, you are Juan. Adriana, you are Saul. Go ahead. We have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. Capacities. Capacities, yes. Capacities, yes. Sorry. I agree. Let's look for a distribution options that allowed, allows us 
allows us. Allows to, us. Allows us. Allows us to get our products in a strategy. In a strategic places on time. The current retail store, the current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Very good. Thank you, guys. Look, in, uh -huh. the pronunciation of the, yes. Um, strategic. Next to uh, tough. Is tough or is tough? Thought. Thought. With, with T in the end. Yes. Thought. Thought. You need to put your tongue between your teeth to pronounce this. Thought. Thought. Like, like when you say thank you. Thought. Thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thought. You're welcome. So look at this, guys. We are comparing, but are we using more interested? Yes or no? Look. No. No, really, right? So we are using as, as. So that is what we are going to check right now. If I want to see that two things are equal, we can use this structure. First, I need as, then I need an adjective. Here, the adjective can be short or can be long, the ones that you prefer. And then I need again, as, okay? And this is to make comparison when two things are equal in some way. For example, look at the picture. I have a man, Dave, and I have Dan. So what can I say about them? Dave is as tall as Dan. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? What do you think? Mm -hmm. In Spanish. Yes. Dave is tan alto como Dan. That's the one. So in this case, David is not taller. Dan is not shorter. No, they are the same. So if you want to compare equality, this is the way that you want to, you have to do it. Another example, Dave is as old as Dan. Who is younger in this sentence? Who is younger? Nobody. Exactly. They are the same. Okay. Is it clear? Let's compare, for example, United States with Canada. Hmm. Can we compare similarities in those countries? What do you think? Canada and the United States, are they similar? Speak English. Okay, but speak is not an adjective. We need adjectives. Can I so, use few, teacher? Uh, which one? Few, big, but it's yes. not Yes. Few is, is, is huge. Very, yes. very big. Uh -huh. So give me the sentence. Go ahead. Uh, United States is, is as few huge? The, as, as Canada. That's it. So look at this, guys. United States is, pay attention, I need as, then the adjective, and then as again. United States is as huge as Canada. The adjective doesn't need changes. You cannot say United States is as huger. No, the adjective doesn't need changes. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? A little bit? No, okay. It's clear. It's clear? All right. 
I hope so. Now, in your manuals, you will see different examples. We can use these expressions in affirmative and also in negative. Let's have a practice. I have here some sentences and I want you to complete the sentences using that structure. Let me open up the exercise. Look at the number one. I have the blue car and I have the adjective fast. So what will be the sentence using comparison of equality? What will be the answer? Maybe it could be the blue car. Oh, the blue faster car is, is faster than. Mm. Faster than the. But if I say faster, I'm saying that faster one. Than. I'm I'm saying that one is better than the other one. I want to say that they are the same. How as, can I say as, that? As, ah, as, as fast as the red, the red car. Red. Which one? Which one is faster in this sentence? Which one? Teacher first. Are same. Which they one same. is faster? No, no. The, the, blue? The equally. The blue. They, equally. Ah, in this case, they are the same. I'm saying que el carro azul es tan rápido como el, el carro, carro rojo. rojo. So again, cuando usamos as más el adjective más as, lo que estoy haciendo es comparar algo que es igual. ¿Ok? That's the idea. Ojo, el adjective doesn't need changes. No podemos decir, ah, the blue car is as faster as the red car. No. ¿Ok? No podemos usar cambios en el adjective. It's in the base form. So, we can use it in negative too. For example, Peter is not as tall as Fred. ¿Y qué estoy diciendo acá? Peter no es tan alto como Fred. Exactly. So, we can use it in negative too. So you just need to add the word not and then as plus the adjective plus as. Number three, what do you think? What will be the answer in the number three? The violin is negative. Not as low as the cello. That is the one, very good. Now, I will be asking individually. Okay. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Let me start with Ivan because you are the man. <laughs> Go ahead. Number four. <laughs> man on fire. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> this copy is as bad as the other one. That is the one. Perfect. Mirna, number five. Go ahead. Oliver is as a optimistic as a Peter. Very good. Optimistic as Peter. Look, the adjectives, they don't need changes. Simple as that. Okay. Let's see who's next. Um, Adriana, number six. Um, today, it's not as windy as yesterday. Very good. Negative and the adjective again doesn't need changes, guys. Um, who else? Herman, number seven, please. The tomato soap was as delicious as the mushroom soap. Very good. Pay attention here, guys. What is the grammar tense here? In past. In past. past. We can use this structure in all the grammar tenses, present, past, future. It doesn't matter. Okay. Next, uh, let me pick Oscar Armando, number nine, please. Number eight. Yes. Grateful, grateful for 
Karin, Ruch. Uh -huh. Use is as a lemonade, as a, no, no. Grateful use is a, as a lemonade, as, as. Okay. It has to be negative. And this is, is the adjective that you have to use. ¿Dónde voy a poner la palabra not? Is not. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. Is not. As. As. Lemon, as lemonade. Uh -uh. As. As sweet lemonade. A sweet, remember, la palabra as tiene que ir dos veces. So, as sweet. As lemon. That is the one. Very good. So, that is the position. Don't forget it. Um, okay. The next one, Rosalina, number nine, please. Excuse me, miss. I, I, can, I can listen for the raining right now. Ah, okay. No worries. Excuse no worries. No worries. No worries. In this case, uh, t -t 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 Jamie, go ahead, number nine. Nick is as brave as Kevin. That's the one, excellent. And let's see, let's see, t -t 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 Christian, number 10. Silver is not as gold, as heavy as gold. That's the one, Lucy. So guys, that's the structure. If you want to compare of equally, you just need to, uh, to use as, as. The adjective is between and doesn't need changes. If you want to say in negative, you just need to add the word not. Clear? Yes? Yes, teacher, just, just one question about the, the structure. In the structure, we don't need to use comma? No. Not That's really. Structure. No. Okay. No. In this case, it's just like that, guys. Yeah. Any other mm -hmm. questions that you may have? No? no? Okay. I want you to try to compare equally in the following examples. You can use it in affirmative or in negative. You know what, guys? I want to buy a cell phone, but I don't know which one should I buy. Can you tell me? Let's compare them. You can use it as as in affirmative or not as in negative. Go ahead. Samsung or iPhone? What do you think? Let's give me sentences. Samsung is as, ta, 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 as iPhone or in negative. Samsung is not as adjective as iPhone. Can you give me sentences, please? Expensive teacher. Okay. Samsung, Samsung is as expensive as uh, Apple. All right. Is as expensive as iPhone or mm -hmm. Apple, if you want. Okay. That's a good sentence. What else? Can you give me another idea? Maybe Samsung, Samsung is as useful as iPhone. That's the one. Look, as useful as iPhone. Now, can you give me sentences in negative, please? Samsung is not in... Is not bad and bad as. Okay, is not. Otra vez, can you repeat? Samsung is Samsung not as. Is, 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 is not as bad. Best? Bad as. Uh huh. In iPod. All right. Now, there is only little detail here in this sentence. What happens with best? ¿Qué dijimos del adjective? ¿Necesita cambios el adjective? No. no. ¿Tiene, tiene que ir en su forma original. En el caso de best, ¿cuál es la forma original de best? Good. Better. Better. Good. 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 Entonces podemos decir, Samsung is not as good as 
iPhone. So that's the idea, guys. No le cambien nada al adjetivo. El adjetivo tiene que ir en su basic form. Understood? Yes? yes. Let's see another example. I want to travel, but I don't know where. Mexico or Colombia. Can you compare both countries, please? Affirmative or negative? Go ahead. Miss teacher. Go ahead. Uh, Mexico is as dangerous as Colombia. Ah, very good sentence. Mexico is as dangerous as Colombia. So they are the same. Very good job. What else? Miss teacher. Yes, adelante, go ahead. Mexico is as beautiful as Colombia. Very good. If you see the adjective in the base form, it doesn't need changes. What else? Negative, try with the negatives. Uh-huh. What, teacher? Negatives. Mex not hot. Uh -huh. Mexico is, is not as hot as Colombia. Very good. Excellent. So if you see, guys, this is the way that we can compare them. Okay. Now, tomorrow I want to have lunch. So, hmm, where should I eat? Pizza Hut or Papa John's? <laughs> okay, so give me the sentence. Pizza Hut is as delicious as Papa John's. That's a good example. Very good. Another one? Pizza Hut is not as delicious as Papa John. <laughs> so we have a debate here. Okay, very good. <laughs> yes, we have. What else? What else? Expensive or cheap? What do you think? Are they the same? No. Pizza Hut is as expensive as Papa John's. All right. Very good. Nelson, go ahead. Uh, Pizza Hut is as popular as Papa John's. That's a good example, excellent. So everybody, this is the way that we can compare equality, okay? We are saying that these options, they are the same in a certain way. Understood? Yes? Is it clear a little bit? Yes, no? Questions? It's clear. clear. Ready for an exam? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> silent. <laughs> because if you say that you don't have questions, it's because you are more than ready for an exam. Yes, of course. <laughs> ah, that's the attitude. Okay, we can also use this structure with countables or uncountable nouns. We are going to see how we can use them. But first, I'm going to check attendance again. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay. Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. Okay. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Fatima Denise. Fatima Denise. Okay. Um, Germán Alexander. Present teacher. Right. Héctor Francisco. Present teacher. Isabel Hernández. Present, Miss. Okay, Iván Guzmán. Present. Okay, Jamie Raquel. Present, teacher. Okay, Holman Girón. Present. All right, uh, Lucy Natalie. Lucy Natalie. Okay, Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Nelson Antonio. 
Present. Oscar Armando. Present. Ok, and Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Very good. All right, so we can use this structure. And by the way, guys, I can see, is it raining in some cities? Is it raining in your city, guys? Yes, sir. Really? Who else? In my town, city? fire. <laughs> Santa Tecla. Okay, so Nelson? It is on fire. <laughs> on fire? It's very hot. <laughs> Only Rosalina is the lucky one. In, in the Lopango, <laughs> we have a, a, a heart of the devil. <laughs> in La Paz, yes. it's raining fire. I mean, <laughs> so <laughs> Rosalina <laughs> is absorbing all the rain. Rosalina, yeah. please share. Air okay. Air, yeah. A little, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sending the rain in Rosalina. <laughs> please do it. Okay. <laughs> We can use this structure with the nouns. How are we going to use it? Look at this. I can use as, then a noun, but be careful. If you are using countable nouns, we are going to use many, okay? For example, the girl has as many apples as the boy. Can you translate this sentence, please? La chica oh. tiene tantas manzanas como el chico. Exactly. If you see, two and two, the same. Now, can I say, for example, the girl, oops, the girl has as more apples um, as the boy. Can I say that? What do no. you think? No, because you say more, that. More is for more countable, you... right? Uh -huh. <laughs> more is representing superior, right? So, we don't need the word more. What is the word that I need? Many, always. Can I say another example? The girl has as many water as the boy. Could I say that? No. Why not? Because water is, water is uncountable. Water is uncountable, great job. Can I say the girl has as many toy as the boy? Yeah, it could be toys. It's it maybe toys. toys. With this. That's the one, okay. As many toys, many is for plurals. We cannot use many for singulars, okay? That's great. Now, what about if I have an uncountable noun? If I have water, for example, instead of many, which one can I use? Much. Exactly, much. much. For example, he drinks as much water as his sister, okay? Or for example, we can say, a, he eats as much sugar as his sister. Okay. Yes. We can use little, little water. Okay, he mm -hmm. drinks as little water as his sister. That's what you mean? Yes, I ask him. Mm -hmm. No, really. Honestly, we don't usually use that as little as, not really. What we can do is to say it in negative. So think about this sentence. He drinks as much water as his sister. How can I say that sentence in negative? What do you think? Could be he don't drinks, he doesn't. He doesn't drink uh -huh. as much water as his sister. Exactly. In this case, 
I'm using another verb. It's not the verb to be. That's why I need the auxiliary. So we are going to say, oops, he doesn't drink without the letter S as much water as his sister. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. Questions? Questions? This is the moment. Sorry, Miss, I'm confused. So sorry. But but he but when you in negative sentence we say he not drinks. In this case, we can use. No worries. I'm going to explain the negative again. In the previous one, solo le agregábamos la palabra not, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Pero por qué? Porque yo tenía el verbo to be. To be. Right? So mm -hmm. eh, decíamos, he is not mm -hmm. as tall as eh, his friend, for example. Solo le agregábamos la palabra not because I had the verb to be. And you know that the verb to be doesn't need auxiliary. Okay. However, in this sentence, he drinks. Do I have the verb to be in this sentence? Oh, no, no. Okay. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So because I don't have the verb to be, I have another verb. And what happens when I have another verb? Yes, we need the auxiliary. Correct. Yes, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. So is it clear, everybody, the way that we can use affirmatives and negative using us plus a noun? Yes? If you have a question, this is the moment. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. No questions? Okay, if you don't have questions, it's time for the exam. Okay, and I want to see who paid more attention, if the girls or the boys. Who wants to start, girls or boys? Girls, ladies. <laughs> ladies first. It's for the service. So convenient, the... right? <laughs> we are okay. gentlemen. I know, I know. Okay, girls, give me a number and you have to complete the sentence using us, us. You can find adjectives or you can find nouns. So, girls, go ahead. Give me a number. Only one, girls, go ahead. Number seven. Thank you, okay. A math test, ta, 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 ta. I want to use the adjective difficult. What will be the sentence? A math test is more difficult than a basic test. More difficult. Okay, I want to use as, as. That's the purpose. Oh. Oh, okay, a math test is as difficult as a basic test. Okay, do you agree, girls? as difficult as physics test? Yes. Yes? Yes, it's equal, yes. Exactly, very good job. Okay, boys, give me a number. Three. Three, okay. What will be the sentence here? A house is as expensive as an apartment. Okay, boys, do you agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. Definitely, very good. Okay, girls, go ahead, give me a number. Number two, Tisha. <laughs> number try. two, okay. Oh, even oh, sport are an equally exciting tennis as oh as okay. A... This is a little bit complicated because we don't have <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. So what can we say? We say that the sports aren't equally exciting. I'm going to accept 
that you create the sentence that you prefer. Use the adjective that you want. But look, because it's saying that aren't the same, you can say a sentence in negative. Use the adjective that you prefer. Go ahead. Uh, between tennis and soccer. Yes. Uh, tennis is as fast. No. Yes, it's, it's as fast as soccer. Okay. If I want that sentence in negative, how can I say that? In negative. Tennis isn't as fast as soccer. That's good. Yeah, that's a good sentence. So imagine we can say it in negative too, like isn't as exciting as soccer, but the sentence sounds good. Boys, give me a number. Five. Five, okay. This is similar to your classmates. It says that the bracelets and the rings are equally expensive. So give me the sentence. If you want, you can use the adjective expensive. What will be the sentence? The bracelets are expensive. Are the bracelets are as expensive as the rings. Do you agree, boys? Yes, I agree. Don't forget us, okay? Very good. Okay, girls, go ahead. Give me a number. Girls, quickly, please. We don't have a lot of time. Nine. Nine, okay. Negative. Go ahead. Starting isn't as easy as sleeping. Okay, girls, do you agree? Yes. 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 Yes, stunning isn't as easy as sleeping, definitely. Okay, boys, is your turn. Give me a sentence. Uh, I'm sorry, a number. Ten. Which one? Ten. Ten, okay. Hmm, what do you think? You have to use the adjective important. Makeup, Makeup. art is he has, he has important. Mm -hmm. has, has accessories. accessories for my so are or is? Is um, are because accessories is plural and then maybe is or. Okay, give me the sentence again, please. Uh-huh, what is makeup makeup are as important as accessories for many girls? Girls. Mm. Okay, the word accessories is in plural, but the word makeup. Is countable or uncountable? Makeup. Can we count the makeup? I have one makeup. I have two makeups. Can I count them? No, right? So it has to be as is. Okay? It doesn't matter if the other one is in plural. The first one is going to decide which verb to be you will use. Is it clear the reason why makeup will be is and not are? Boys? I understood because it's uncountable. Mm -hmm. It's uncountable, yes. Makeup, we the cannot count the makeup. And remember, uncountables are always in singular. 
Okay, and then every time when I when I see a uncountable, I can use I have to use s. Yes, I mean listen. Every time that you can see an uncountable noun, you have to use is always and forever because remember uncountable nouns they are always in singular clear yes it's clear yes, all right clear. so sorry boys but i cannot give you the points <laughs> okay girls give me a number Girls, wake up, give me a number. If you don't give me a number, the boys will take your points. Quickly, Four, please. Tisha. <laughs> Four. Four. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, you can use cute. Cute, cute, yes. okay. These two trolls are equally cute. The blue troll is as cute the pink as the pink troll. Okay, let's see. <laughs> that is the one. Very good. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. One. Okay. Negative, not delicious. Apple pie is seen uh, as uh -huh. delicious as ice cream with chocolate. Ah, that's the one. Very good job. Okay, girls, this is the last one for you. Six or eight. Girls, six or eight? Where are the girls? Hello, eight, girls. Teacher. Sorry, eight. eight. Okay, eight. only Nine. Mirna is participating. <laughs> Where are the other girls? Adriana, Fatima, Jamie. Help her, okay? Eight. Negative. What would be the sentence here? A science fiction movie isn't as a fun as a comedy as a comedy okay. <laughs> comedy comedy, <laughs> comedy yeah. okay isn't as a fun do i need the letter a yes or no yes as fun isn't as, as fun as a com oh, as a comedy comedy Comedy. <laughs> Aha, that is the one. Be careful because I listened that you said isn't as a fun as oh. a comedy. So oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. No, as fun as a comedy. I confused because the A uh, uh, uh -huh. we have two A. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. But yeah, that is the one. Isn't as fun as a comedy. A comedy. <laughs> All right. Boys, this is the last one for you. What do you think? Adi, uh, the adjective is delicious. Go ahead. Apple and orange are equally delicious. Apple as delicious as orange. Oranges. Oranges. Do you agree, boys? Apples are delicious. Apple are as delicious as oranges. That's the one. Very good job. However, the girls are the winners. Congratulations, girls. Boys, maybe next time. Okay. Okay. Good job, girls. And the boys are like mm, disappointed. Okay. Now we don't have more time. That was the topic for today. I know that it's a little bit confusing, but we will continue practicing it, okay? Just remember, if you use as, as, the adjective is in the basic form. They don't need any changes. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. 
Any questions before leaving? No, of course. No, you. no questions? Okay, no. the winner for today as a punishment because boys lost. <laughs> <laughs> a boy has to stay. <laughs> Who is going to be the man who is going to stay? Ivan is the man. Ivan is the man. <laughs> Ivan is the man. And I think Ivan, Ivan is sleeping already. Okay, now uh, Christian is going to take his place right now. Okay. So Christian stays. The rest of you, you can go to sleep. Have a good night, everybody, and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Take care, everyone. Good night. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> See you. Bye. 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 Goodbye. It's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye, guys. See you. Good night. Okay. Hello, Christian. I cannot see you, Christian. No oh, teacher. No teacher. I am with my computer, and I have, I have with a charge my cell phone. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. No problem. I am charging right now. <laughs> It's okay. Hello, Christian. How are you? Fine, teacher. I'm fine today. A and little how... busy, but that's fine. Yeah, I imagine. Mm -hmm. But it's almost Friday. Yes, almost Friday. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow, we don't use uniform in the company, and it's good. Yeah. It's, it's mean it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody wears uniform tomorrow? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Excellent. So it's more relaxed, right? Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christian, you know, this section is just to clarify some questions about the class yes. or about the platform. So this is your moment. Tell me, go ahead. Actually, I, I don't have question to you. I just, just that I was working in, in platform, but I am going I am doing the thing. I, I, I didn't have problem with the platform. And actually, I don't have question. That's great. And mm -hmm. actually, I was checking the platform. And yes, I could see that you already has a, a progress. And look, you have the 60%. Pretty mm -hmm. good. I like that. So how do you feel the platform? is as easy as the previous model or do you think that this one is a little bit more difficult it's a little bit more difficult but it's, it's not more, it's not a lot, a lot difficult. a lot of difference it's uh -huh. almost the same it's i think i i understand that it's a little more difficult but it's fine because we have to learn more and practice mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. Good for you. All right. Now, if you don't have questions, I will ask you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, let's see. Can you compare? Mm, what can we compare? Let's compare coffee and milk. Okay. Mm, okay. Use as, as, affirmative or negative. Okay. Uh... For me, the coffee is is not uh, as delicious as milk. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I prefer coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I totally agree. Uh, okay. How yes. about how about Real Madrid and Barcelona? Compare them. Mm, Real Madrid. Uh, oh, sorry, Barcelona isn't as good as Real Madrid. Ah, <laughs> you want I, extra I, points. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. think that all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now let's think about uh, El Salvador and Guatemala. Let's compare them, but let's try to use countable or uncountable nouns. For example, El Salvador has as many ta -ta -ta as Guatemala, or El Salvador doesn't have as much mm -hmm. as ta -ta -ta Guatemala. Let's try to compare them using nouns. Okay. Go ahead. El okay, El Salvador has a, 
El Salvador has as I don't I, I don't remember the the phrase. Uh, remember as many or as much, depending on the noun uh, that as, you got as to many. use. Uh -huh. As okay. many landscape or the noun. Yeah, that's as, correct. As as Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, very good. Excellent. So, Christian, you are doing a great job. Um, actually, I can see you are participating a little bit more in this level than in the previous one. So, I like yes. that. <laughs> Do you always have the meetings on Tuesday, I, I think? It yes, was... uh, I live in the meeting at 8, I think, okay. or 50 to 8. Okay. Uh, and I arrived to my house almost eight, eight and a half. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Good. But yeah, I, I consider that you're participating a, a little bit more. So that's great. And I hope that you keep going on that. Okay. Yes. Yes, I am trying. <laughs> Very good. I, that's I, I am it. trying to do that every day. Yes. Do it because you are improving a lot. I like that. Okay, Christian, if you don't have any other question, we are going to stop right here. Okay, have okay. a good night. Take care and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night.